what's happened in liquid markets since the COVID-19 has really taken force this year. We still saw strong and stable growth in the UK as a collective in its real estate prices. So in here we have the meta-analysis by the UK Land Registry, which shows every meta with every uh, transaction and shows the capital appreciation at 4.6% since the Brexit vote, which is still stable appreciation. Now, if you look at to look at a cycle, obviously Birmingham and Manchester are the two cities in the UK that are leading the way in terms of capital appreciation since 2015. So Birmingham really will become the epicenter of the UK. Russell, if you could just interject here, what was it about Digbeth and, and this area of Birmingham um, that attracted you for the development specifically? Well, um, I mean, there, there was a few factors uh, of Digbeth. What one um, it was a very personal factor. We, we, I started my first business in Digbeth in 1997, uh, which was a creative agency. So, so I've always known that part of the city really well. Um, always um, know it will it will be something in the future. Um, it's incredibly close to, to the main city core. Um, you're talking hundreds of meters as opposed to anything else. Um, and it was a very industrial area. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity there. Um, there's some nice old buildings that, that have been converted. Um, we've done some of that in, in the area as well. One bedrooms here start at 540, 550 square feet. So something a little bit different in terms of not your standard 350 one bedroom faceless unit in a tower, more owner occupier led and a fifth floor corner using one bedroom. Obviously this is facing west with the front of the apartment facing east. So anything on this front side will have a lot of natural daylight and anything on this back side will also, but you can see loads of natural light in the, in the development and something with a bit of a unique layout as well, open plan living kitchen. Um, these are the contact details for, for Scott and I, um, Happy to follow up with any questions that you have outside of this, um, of the actual seminar.